Here's a short practice for the sacral chakra, Svadhisthana. Begin with your feet hip width distance apart, standing in a comfortable posture for you. Make sure your feet feel grounded and rooted into the earth. As you exhale, bend the knees, lean the body forward, round the spine, and then inhale, ripple up, lifting the chest, throw the head back a little bit, and then exhale, let the head come down as you round the spine, bending the knees. Take a couple more of these body rolls, just being as loose and free as you can in the spine. As you repeat the movement with a nice long exhale, rounding over, and then inhale, lifting and rolling the shoulders back, you may feel that it becomes a little easier. You're looking for a sense of fluidity in the spine here, the element of the sacral chakra being water. So you want to move as much like water as possible. Letting your body flow. Bring the baby fingers and the thumbs together in an OK sign and slide the right foot back, bend the left knee for warrior one. As you inhale, float the fingers and arms in that position up over the head. And feel the root chakra still supporting you here as you exhale, straighten the front knee as you lower the arms down to the sides, keeping that gentle mudra, baby fingers and thumb tips slightly touch. Every inhale, sweep the arms forward and up to a comfortable place alongside the head. And then exhale, straighten the front knee. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Relax the other fingers. And then step the feet together. Keep the mudra with the fingers and change sides with the legs. Right knee bent, left knee straight. This time we'll inhale, arms up, front knee straightens. And then exhale, arms down to the sides, knee bends. Inhale, straighten that knee, arms up. Exhale, bend the knee, arms down. Good, just repeat with the breath. Try to move as fluidly as possible. The arms are at their highest point when the knee is at its straightest. And as the arms come down to the sides, the knee is bent to its fullest. Arms come down to the sides, feet step back together when you're ready. Separate your feet a little further apart, shoulder width distance, and soften the knees, begin to take the hips in circles. You can close the eyes if you feel at all self-conscious. We're really working into the sacral chakra here, the pelvis and the hips. Let other parts of the body move. You can let the shoulders move or the head move. At some point, reverse the direction of your circles and notice if the fluidity of the movement changes, if it becomes more difficult. And try to let go a little bit through this part of the body. Just breathe naturally. Notice if there are any places that you feel restricted or tight. See if you can let the energy flow. When you're finished, stay in this position. Let the arms come down to the sides and on your inhale, float your arms out and up in a V position. And as you exhale, draw the belly in and imagine as though you're hugging a beach ball. So let the palms turn down and just as if you're hugging and rounding over, let the head relax, draw the navel in toward the spine and then inhale, open up through the chest. And exhale, round, soften through the fingers and the wrists. Just a little standing cat and cow. Again, just feeling the rippling movement toward through the spine. And one more up, and exhale, lower the arms back down to the sides. 